Hello, this is a presentation from Kusu Console to the Moonbeam Network. In this presentation, we'll be learning how to deploy a contract to Moonbeam using Web3. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to install Node.js. Then, afterwards, we'll install Web3 and Solitude Compiler. I have mine installed, so we go ahead and do that now. Afterwards, if we go back to our project folder, you see that I've created some files already. I have compiled, deploy, it will storage, and our contract file. In this presentation, I'll be implementing a contract that simply lets you store a number and retrieve it. Okay, let's get started with our contract file. Okay. We'll be using Solidity version Okay, this is our store function. And this is our retail function. So what this basically does is the store function gets a number, whatever number is inputted, it gets stored in the global number, and the retrieve function just returns whatever number is not stored in the global number. Okay, then we head to the compile file. This compiles our contract code to bytecode, which is executable. Okay, then we require. So we'll load our compiler. Next we'll get the the source of our contract file, the source directory. And as we are getting the path of our contract file and loading it up. Next we define the input parameter for our Solidity compiler. Okay, let me close this down here. Okay. 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 Yes. Next, our uh, time file. and the contract file Okay, so what we did here was to get the part of our contract file. 
then the input object for the compiler is built and finally we extracted the contract file here yeah, and exported the contract file next we head to our deploy file where deployment function will be used to send a signed transaction that deploys our contract so we import web3 and our contract file Then we define our RPC provider, which helps us communicate to the server. Okay. Then we want to change our environment, our network to development. Next, we define our account variable. This is just the place where I will come back to this later on in the tutorial. Okay, next, we get our bytecode. and our API okay so we then create our deployment function and console log Okay, attempting to deploy from our account address. Okay. Okay. And we create our storage instance as our contract instance. Next, we then create a transaction. The name is storage transaction. Like this. Then we sign and send the transaction. Okay, and our data will be and our gas. Okay, then we'll be needing our private key to sign the transaction. Just like that. 
Now we want to um, create a receipt for the transaction once it's sent. Okay, that's it. Okay, like that. And if our contract successfully deploys, we want to console.log the deployment address. Okay, that's that. Then we call the deploy function. Okay, in summary, what happened here was we defined our RPC providers, then we get the contract address. We define the address and the private key. We then fetch the bytecode and the interface of our contract to the API. Right. Then we created a contract instance here and save um function to sign our transaction and created the receipt of the transaction. Then finally we console.log the address of our deployed contract. Okay. Next we head to our storage JS file. This is where we get to interact with our contract, our smart contract. Okay, we import web day and our uh, interface okay next we then define our rpc providers we then change our network to development we then get our accounts private key Have our private key here, and again, this is just a place where I will get back to this later on. Then we get our contract address. We have our contract address here. Okay, we then define norm, which is number we are going to be storing our smart contract. Let's make this three. Okay. We then create our contract instance. Which we have storage. Taking and interface and contract address. Okay, we then build our storage transaction. And we call the store function from our smart contract. We will be storing the Norm we defined here, which is three. Okay, our storage function. Okay, and we console dot log. Okay, so we display our. Contract address. Okay, 
Okay, next we then create and send our transaction. Okay, I will be sending the transaction to uh, our contract address. Yeah. Okay, and data will be our API and gas. Okay, next we'll be needing our private key to, to sign the transaction. Okay, if our transaction is successful, we want to create a receipt for the transaction. like this and the console.log I see it here we have transaction successful it has Then we call our store function. Okay, next we'll be interacting with our retrieve JS. It's our retrieve function. I'll go ahead to display the number that was initially stored here. So you can go ahead and copy all of this to the retrieve JS file. Okay, I'll go ahead to call our function. And then we go ahead to create a transaction. The, that's the brief transaction. Then this. Okay. Next we define our retrieve function. console okay so calling the retrieve function in the contract address of our contract address that we are defined okay Next, we sign the transaction. Okay, want it to our contract address. The data will be the retrieve transaction created. And cars okay and then we are going to be needing our private key to sign the transaction if all that is successful 
want to then go ahead and create a transaction receipt okay like that then we display our receipt successful see transaction successful it has okay then we get the number that was initially stored and display the number of the current number stored is our num okay close that and call our retrieve function okay that is all for that next we want to go ahead and run our scripts for this we have to, you have to have docker installed in order for us to be able to spin a node so if you have docker installed already you can go ahead and and then run this command docker pull pure sleep this will download a moonbeam image on our local machine and help us to spin a moonbeam node yep. okay i already have mine installed so if it's done i want to go ahead and run the docker image using this command i'll leave that in the description and okay all right so we have our development service ready we have our node spinning already okay so the moonbeam development node usually comes with um about 10 pre-funded accounts so i'm going to make use of one of the demo addresses and the private key so we'll copy that and go back head back to our deploy js file mm. okay yeah so i'm going to replace the private key with the private key from one of the pre-funded accounts and and also want to replace this address with the address of one of the pre-funded accounts okay and next we head back to our terminal so we create a new terminal window while right? this node is still spinning it's still running so you shouldn't stop we create a new terminal window instead okay on the new terminal we want to then go ahead and deploy our contract okay that's great so you can see that it deployed at this contract address here so you want to buy it and copy the contract address okay now that we have our contract deployed I want to go back to <coughs> our storage js to send the transaction okay here we we'll place this contract address with the address copied from the terminal and we replace the private key with this copy this here okay so 
So now I want to go ahead and send the story transaction. Okay, go back to our terminal. Storage.js. Okay, so we can get back. Okay, our transaction was successful with this hash. So we successfully stored the number by three on. So we want to go back and do the same for our retrieve file to see if we can be able to get back the number that was stored. And we we'll place the private key. The private key, yeah. And the contract address we want to get from here. Where it was deployed. And replace it with this. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and run this script to see if you can get back uh, the number that was initially stored there. Okay, so we have an error. Yes, we can able to figure out what the problem is. Okay, it seems like we may be missing something from this. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so we get the current number stored this day. Our transaction was successful. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching.